Regression is when you're predicting a continuous number, like a house price or temperature. For those tasks, the output layer is usually just a single node. And the key point is that the final calculation, that linear combination coming from the last hidden layer, is not put through an activation function. You just output the raw number? You output the raw number. If you want to predict 15.7, you output 15.7. Right, because if you used a sigmoid or a 10 function, it would just squash that value between 0 and 1, or minus 1 and 1, which you definitely don't want. Exactly. The network needs the full range of real numbers. And the other configuration is for classification tasks, which are probably more common for these kinds of MLPs. Yeah, for sure. Classification requires one neuron for every class the network has to distinguish. So if it's identifying 10 types of animals, you need 10 output nodes. And to manage the targets, we use a standard trick called one-hot encoding. Right, one-hot encoding is just a simple way to convert a category label, like class 3, into a binary vector. So the position for 3 has a 1, and everything else is 0. It gives the network a clear numerical target to aim for. It does. And when you have these multiple classification outputs, the standard choice for the activation function is the softmax activation function. 